Hey guys, Greg with BTAD TV. Have you been searching for that perfect electric standing desk but can't quite get the right look? One of the most common DIY standing desks is taking an electric frame and pairing it with your own surface. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the most important steps helping you to avoid common pitfalls when making this type of DIY standing desk. Looking for a standing desk? BTAD TV is your source for everything standing desk. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our new content we've got coming out. There are a lot of different types of DIY standing desks from something as simple as books and boxes from your home to elaborate wooden structures. Today we're gonna show you how to pair our plywood surface to our vert desk frame. Before we get started showing you how to do this, we're gonna talk about the five most important things to consider when pairing a surface to an electric standing desk frame. The first thing to consider when pairing a surface with a standing desk frame is where to get the actual desk surface. Now, if you're handy, these options could be limitless. Otherwise, you might wanna look at your existing desk if you own one, potentially being able to take the surface from the frame of the desk that you have. Otherwise, options such as an old door, potentially a kitchen countertop, or even things like plywood if you have that. Lastly, if you want something new, stores like Ikea or alternative big box stores like maybe a Home Depot or Lowe's could potentially have a surface for you. The second thing to consider is the type of actual material that you'll want your surface to be made from. Now this will come down to two real major things, and the first is going to be aesthetics, what you want your desk to look like, and second, how durable you want it to be. We recently actually went through and tested the most popular surfaces, and I dropped the link down in the description so you can see that, and how well they held up to just normal tasks that you would be doing in the office, whether it's dropping things or potentially writing on the surface, water from condensation on a cup. Natural products, more beautiful products like wood or bamboo generally don't hold up to surface scratching, dents and dings, as well as something like a laminate wood, but of course, laminate won't be as nice looking as those natural alternatives. When mounting your surface to your frame, one thing to really consider is how you'll be mounting it, the hardware that you'll be using. Now, a lot of standing desk manufacturers will actually include hardware with their frames, but is that hardware too short or too long to mount the surface that you've chosen? Definitely take a closer look at the length, making sure one, it's not too long, because then it will poke through the top of the surface. If it's too short, you won't get a good connection and your surface could potentially fall off when in use. We're now ready to select the size of top to pair with our frame, and to some extent, this will come down to personal preference. However, at the minimum, you should be looking for a surface that is at least as wide as your frame. We would really recommend looking for something that's at least a half inch overhang on either side. This prevents splitting of wood when you're screwing the frame to the surface, and a maximum of six to nine inches overhang. And this comes down to general aesthetics and also prevention of bending that might happen if you put a lot of weight on the pieces of the surface that are outside the frame support. The next thing we wanna consider is the actual depth of the surface when compared to the frame. We can't have something too short so that our feet hang out and allow for a potential tripping hazard in the office. And we also don't wanna have something too deep specifically something more than really three to four inches on either side, which could potentially cause tipping if you were to put a lot of weight on the front or the back of the surface, specifically when these desks are at standing height. The last thing to consider is what happens if you buy a standing desk frame to pair with a DIY surface and ultimately you end up not finding a surface to pair with that frame. When you buy these as a combo from a vendor like us, it is much less expensive to buy the top with the frame. And this is true for almost all companies online. If you decide later on that you wanted to buy our surface, we charge more because it costs more to ship the top separately than it would when you purchase them together. We're now ready to go ahead and pair our DIY surface to our frame. But before we do, here are a couple quick tips. The first tip is that you likely won't need pre-drilled holes to attach your surface to your frame. And this is especially true if you're using self-tapping wood screws like we include with the vert desk. If you decide that you need pre-drilled holes, the first thing to make sure that you do not do is drill through the actual surface. Now these are just starter holes, so you don't have to go very deep. It's really only just for the tip of the screw. One recommendation that we have is using a tape on the drill bit so that it tells you as a guide where to stop. 
When placing your frame onto your surface, the left to right alignment is generally easier than the front to back. This is because the upper supports of the frame will actually be touching the surface, allowing you to easily center and measure both sides accurately. The front to back alignment of your frame to your surface can be a little bit more difficult than the left to right, and this is because the upper supports are generally not as long as the feet. To ensure that your feet don't stick out past the edge of the surface, we like to use a wall as a guide. Now, if you have trim at the base of your wall, you'll want to make sure to include that in your measurement. Pairing a DIY surface to a standing desk frame isn't overly difficult. Hopefully, today's video will help you avoid most of the common pitfalls that people encounter. I've dropped a link down in the description to our full post at the BTOD Learning Center. If you like this video, please help us out and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got a ton of content coming out on standing desks. Thanks a lot for watching.